Hey guys, this is your friend Maynav from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on rabbit structures. So friends, as you had seen in the previous video, we had uh, provided the cut reinforcements or the extra reinforcements in rabbit structures and you have watched that video. If you haven't, you can then check out our rabbit structures playlist and then watch the video. So friends, in today's video, we're going to show how to provide continuous reinforcement in your beams. So let's get started. So suppose uh, you want to uh, provide uh, the reinforcement along this beam so you can check out in the level one which is the particular size you want to edit so this is the east side and this is the west side so if you just uh, go to the 3d model and uh, we keep figure we can go to the 3d uh, east view you can also go from this elevations as well and we're going to work on this so for now we can uh, simply zoom in and we can go to our structure we're going to select the d-bars and uh, uh, we have selected the option of near cover reference and the placement is parallel to work plane and we can select let's say 16 mm bars and uh, the shape which we have selected is this for the bars so we've selected this shape and uh, you know even before you know selecting this shape you can go to the 3d view and you can check the cover so to check the cover you can go to structure and uh, after you have uh, you know, gone to structure you can uh, simply uh, use the option of cover here and you can check here what is the cover so the cover here is of 30 mm which which you have provided and the cover in columns as you can see the cover in columns is of uh, is of 40 mm and the cover in footings is of 75 mm suppose you want to provide a cover of like 35 mm here then you can go to this and and you can uh, simply uh, duplicate this and uh, you can simply type new beam i'm just giving a name new beam cover and then you can just uh, make it as uh, 35 mm cover and just click on ok and uh, what we can do is uh, we can just rotate the model using the shift and the mouse middle button option and then uh, you can just uh, select the particular beams as you can rotate the model and check all the beams have been selected so you can go here and then structural framing okay and then you can uh, simply change it to this new cover which we have given new beam cover so after this you can click on escape and uh, again you can go uh, to particular cover option and then check the cover here so this is 35 mm cover which we have provided and uh, you can check the properties as well uh, the new beam cover so like this we can change the cover and after you have you know defined your cover then you can provide the reinforcement here and after providing the reinforcement here uh, you can simply uh, do this to a fixed number we'll go for four bars of 16 mm at the top and just click here and then we'll go to the bottom we'll provide three bars of 12 mm go back to the river option this option have been selected we'll select uh, 12 mm bars and then uh, provide this particular uh, you know this particular rebar and then click on escape select this and then you can uh, go for fixed number and let's go with three so like this we have done and if you check in the 3d view you can uh, simply just rotate the model here and then uh, you can check so this thing you have selected and let's you know select the structural rebars from here or else you can select the whole structure entire structure and then and then we can go for only for the structural rebars and after selecting structural rebars we can uh, uh, just go to the properties visibility and this two options let's select view on view as unobscured and view as solid and then click on ok and then you can get to check the rebar so you, as you can see four bars of 16 mm at the top and uh, three bars of 12 mm at the bottom so let's provide the stirrups uh, that too with a proper spacing and uh, by the way if you are not obtaining this uh, you know level you can change this from like uh, fine this is the fine view and if you are in the course view then you will get a line uh, kind of view so i'm just working on the fine uh, you know view 
so now let's insert the stirrups so for the stirrups uh, we'll go to Riva once again and we'll select the stirrups here and uh, since I am just inserting from this work plane so I'll just uh, change the placement to, to perpendicular to cover and then I will be able to insert the stirrup let's let me place the first stirrup here and after I place the first stirrup I'll just click on escape and now I'll just select this particular stirrup and sometimes it you know uh, the depending on your system it can uh, you know actually lag so I've selected this stirrup and then I'll go for the maximum spacing and I want uh, you know to give this stirrup along you know, three zones so first zone I want 100 and second zone the, the middle zone I want 150 and the third zone also I want 100 so different spacings I want you know just zoom in after this has been selected you can just click on escape and uh, select this and use this option to drag it like this and use the mouse scroll button to zoom out and uh, now we, we are going to define the three zones here uh, actually you can use construction lines here to you know, define the zones but I am just showing you for reference how to do it so let's uh, keep it up to uh, here the spacing of 100 and then we can also copy this uh, use the copy option from uh, let's say we can copy this from this point it's also you know lagging right now so sometimes it does like this depending on system from this point to let's say this point so after uh, it appears and uh, then we can you know uh, do the remaining part of the middle we'll just copy this again and do the remaining part so it has been done here as you can see we have avoided the uh, no, intersection of the columns and our uh, beams because we don't want any uh, stirrups there so now we can also copy this from let's say here to here and after it has been uh, done and then you can simply uh, drag it drag this one and this time will give a spacing of let's say 150 so as you can see we have provided different spacing of stirrups at the start and and the center in the beam and we have also avoided in the detailing part any stirrups between the beam and the column intersection so these are the small things which we uh, need to you know take care of uh, during detailing so as you can see again uh, this uh, mm, particular stirrups are not visible here you can uh, check out it in the wireframe view so this is visible so to make it visible just simply select all the three portions of the uh, rebars and then uh, go to the visibility add it and then uh, select these two options okay and then now uh, you can go back to the realistic view to check them out so like this you can find out that the full beam has been uh, reinforced and uh, we have provided different uh, spacing of the stirrups so like this you can you know do the detailing part so i hope that you found this video useful you can share with your friends if you like so stay tuned bye bye